We're going to create a pair of futuristic earrings that'll make you feel like you're living in the year 3000. And the best part is, we'll be using materials that are typically used for nail art. Who knew you could make earrings out of nail art supplies? You'll need silicone mold, round cabochons, earring hooks, glow powder, metallic powder, eyeshadow sponge, emboss UV gel, UV resin plus pigment, and sticky tape. Put a small amount of UV resin on a container, enough for your earring frame mold. Put one or two drops of black resin pigment and mix everything together. Then put the liquid in the earring frame mold slowly with the help of a toothpick or a small tool. Use a toothpick to pop out any bubbles and cure for at least 10 minutes. While the frame is curing, let's put a tiny amount of UV resin on a container and mix green glow powder with it. I'm using an upside down silicon cup for this. Then put the mixture on the bottom of the cabochon. This will allow the stone to glow even from its front side. Our frame is finally cured and now we can see if there are any imperfections. Use a fine grit sandpaper to remove any excess resin from the frame. You'll probably have bubbles on your piece. And to hide them, use any leftover resin from the mixture we did earlier and give the piece a new coating. Cure it for 5 minutes. Put the frame on top of the sticky side of the sticky tape and make sure the back is really stuck to the tape. Then pour UV resin inside the frame. You can leave it transparent as I did, or you can make it into any color you want. With a toothpick, pop out any stubborn bubbles. Cure for at least 5 minutes under UV light. Slowly remove the sticky tape from the frame. Sand down the back side of the cabochon in order to make it flat. Put a tiny amount of UV resin on this side and carefully place it where you like on your frame. Cure it for 5 minutes. Now for the most difficult but most fun part. Let's use black embossed UV gel for nails to create our molten metal design. Black is best because the metallic effect we will be using later will contrast better with it. But you can also use transparent gel if you don't have black. You need to place the gel in small amounts with a fine brush and pull it to the sides so as to create an embracing effect on the cabochon and on its sides. This looks easier than it seems. <laughs> Cure it for 2 minutes. Now let's add the metallic effect. Using an eyeshadow sponge tool, take a very tiny amount of silver metallic eyeshadow and rub it on the cured emboss gel. You really don't need much and don't worry, it won't stick too much on the parts that don't have the gel and you need to buffer it in order to make the powder become metallic and not grainy. A silicone tool will also help you achieve this result in areas where the sponge is difficult to reach. Spray a bit of rubbing alcohol on a piece of tissue paper and rub it on the frame and in any parts where the powder got a bit stuck.
coat the metallic design with a bit of UV resin and let it cure for 2 minutes. Now drill a hole on the earring frame with the manual drilling tool. Your hand needs to be steady and perpendicular to the piece. To finish up the piece, we only need to assemble the earring with some jump rings and a hearing hook. Open the jump rings with the help of pliers and connect everything together. What do you think? Are you excited to try this yourself? Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and watch this one if you want more inspiration. Thanks for watching!